going to show you how to change an ATX box because my one blew again yesterday what you'll need is a hammer, a chisel, mole grips, various sticking plasters <laughs> only kidding you on man and, you know, well they're not slightly different but two or three of them come with different sort of colour codes I'll show you the now you'll find on the side it's, it's got to be an ATX box that's the, the, the best ones for your lab wait to shut it You'll find your colour codings on the side of the the unit, same as on this one. But this one's not giving you your colours, but it's, it's, it's giving you your power switch on's green, your return and your grey, and your amperage, along with your voltages there. They're all slightly, no, all slightly different, but you do get variations. I'm going to put up a, a link, you can go and download a, a hard copy of this guy's explanation and it, he's really pretty good, he gives you picture by picture, blow by blow and it's a really pretty neat thing to have because you'll probably go through one or two of these and it looks a bit like spaghetti junction with all the wires and stuff but it's not really that bad I just use these wee blocks here and it becomes easier because I've changed 12 of these maybe th this is my 13th or something this one just went in on the 29th of July and I blew it there yesterday, I was drawing 15 amps and it's rated for 10 so my own fault but you should build one of these wee boxes as well because they're really handy to have just a, a base and a cigar box or something does I don't bother with these Although the guy on the website seems to um, bother with them, but I found the pins that go in there too shaky and just built up too much heat. So I go straight for bolts. There we go. I tend to just use the the yellow, that's the 12 volts, and the black, that's my, my negatives. The other ones are for your lighting, your power on. Uh, and then you switch on to get the 12 volts or whatever voltage you're, you're using that's that's it and I just tie the rest back so one of the first things you want to do is when you've got all your mad ends on them get rid of all the mad ends just try and clear your feet as much as possible put them onto one colour all the blacks together all the various colours in one bundle see how they're on to different bundles, the reds, I think the reds 3 volts and the yellows 12 volts because I'm going to be using them, what I'm not using I'll, I'll end up tying back like this you see and it kind of keeps it nice and tidy out the road and what it does do is it just makes it easier for you, your brain's no other the place, it just makes it easier to handle and that's about the first part of it, so do this ok what I'm doing first is I'm loosening these bolts because I've got a bolt one at the front there, so I can tighten it down. I'm moving these. Freeze up the lid. Move my extra fan. That's a casey. Okay, I've managed to get this off. You see, I just silicone it in. It dries it night. Handy stuff. Pop this new and this one you see that the, the on switch but putting the power to the unit green LED here and this here is a green wire but it's different than the other one there is no green wire so it'll probably be the grey if I remember rightly I've had this colour coding before but having said that we'll just check it and you see the nature of what I've got with these blocks you just unscrew it and quickly replace it. This one here goes to the resistor. I've got the resistor out here. Keep the resistor away from it. Try and, if you're building a wee box like this, don't put it inside the box because this resistor gets really pretty hot. I think it's a 10 ohm resistor. Put it outside somewhere so it can get some ambient air around about it. Uh, you can see I've went through a <laughs> few Anyway, right. Um, Pull my lights. I've just got a whole 
in the back area for them. That's my two LEDs there. And my switch comes up through here. And all the rest can get. I just need one red and one black for my LED, my, my resistor. My LEDs on this one was a purple and a black. And this one was a 12 volt yellow and a black. And it was a green and a black. But this is the guy's explanation. It's really pretty dummy proof. I mean, it's, it's, it's you know, blow be blow sort of stuff. Um, I would I would definitely bring a hard copy of this down and keep a hold of it because I've, I've used it quite a few times, believe me. And it gives you the blow be blow account of the colour coding and the different types of colour with your ATXs. Um, and you can, the variations, I'll put up a, a wee thing telling you the, the, the voltages that you can actually get out of them. I mean, you can get like 24 volts. 17 volts, 12 volts, 7 volts, 5 volts and variations of and of course the amperages that, that go along with them so anyway I'll get on with this now and we'll change the box I'm just going to snip these ends off to make sure I get the right colour code back on and I'll pull it out in a minute that's ok, we can take that one off see I've sort of left a wee bit of colour on this one's got the same colour but I want them done Hindsight's a wonderful thing, I suppose, but right, there we go. And we have one wasted box. And you see how I've tied everything else back out the road except for what I was actually using. You can see that everything else is tied back out the road and taped the ends so I didn't get any kind of short and I'm only really using these I'm not using that one there yeah. that's basically what I was using you can take the fan out of these because they can be quite handy but phew, I've got a few of them lying about so I can not really justify having another one to store so let's straighten the bin with that and it's Straight on with the new one. Just pop it straight in here. Let's bear the way. Let me make any words. And you can see that we're cooking with gas already. is just tie the ones I didn't need back out the road first and leave the ones like the yellow and the four red and I'm not going to use all these blacks I'm just going to use a few of them and the rest will just get tied out the road and it'll be much easier to work in the situation there okay 